Transitional Climate Report prompted his comments. It found 2021 is set to be among the seven hottest years on record. He said the report also showed floods, wildfires, and other extreme weather events are now part of the new normal. And McCall, we certainly are not having a normal December. No, we are not. We had record uh, tying warmth yesterday. And uh, keeping a look at all of the data for the month of December, it looks as though we're going to rank in the top five warmest Decembers for Dayton of all time. So certainly abnormally warm, and we've been dealing with some significant wet weather recently, and that includes today and what came in yesterday. So let's talk about that wet weather. I was taking a look at some of the numbers, and in just the past 24 to 48 hours, we have picked up over an inch of rain in parts of the Miami Valley. Wapakoneta, 1.39 inches since Sunday. Fort Laramie, 1.21 inches. Pequot, nearly an inch, and almost three quarters of an inch in Xenia and Tip City. We are not done with the wet weather as we're going to be dealing with more rain as we head toward the holiday weekend. Right now, satellite and radar imagery shows we're getting a break in the activity. There are still a few showers just southeast of Dayton, but this is all going to continue to slide to the east-southeast, giving us a little bit of a break for tonight, but it is brief as I see more rain moving back in later on this week. Temperatures are cooler. We're sitting in the upper 30s in Wapakoneta right now, 45 in Bell Fountain and 45 in Dayton. If you were joining me at 5 and 6 o'clock, those temperatures had dropped back into the 30s, so we are rebounding and continuing to climb a little bit as we head into the rest of the night. All right, here's a look outside right now in Troy, and you can see those wet roadways. Winds have diminished. We're not seeing that flag blowing in the breeze as much as we did earlier today. That calmer wind, though, and the moisture that we acquired over the past couple of days is actually going to contribute to a secondary problem into tomorrow morning, and that will be in the form of some fog. Our future cast visibility map does show that we are going to have light to moderate, maybe even thick fog into early tomorrow morning. The thickest of the fog looks to set up to our west and to our south, so at this point we don't have any dense fog advisories issued by the Weather Service, but I did see some out in central Indiana. So we'll monitor conditions through the night, and by early tomorrow morning, if we start to see conditions becoming a little bit treacherous for you on the roads, as far as uh, fog is concerned, uh, we'll be sure to let you know. Meteorologist Austin Cheney will be up with you at daybreak. Then as we get into tomorrow afternoon, we'll see that fog lifting to an overcast sky. And you can see at 12.30 tomorrow, we just have a cloudy sky overhead. There may be some patchy drizzle at times throughout any point of the day. 5 o'clock in the afternoon, perhaps a couple of breaks there. But cloud cover will quickly thicken back up as I see more showers arriving before midnight tomorrow night. Here's 11 p.m. Wednesday. We'll have some scattered light showers through the night. may even get a few uh, sleet pellets or a couple of snowflakes in the northern Miami Valley. Thursday morning, we wake up to some areas of light shower activity, and we'll keep that stray shower chance around during the day Thursday, otherwise just cloudy skies. Not a lot of rain comes in with that next little bout tomorrow night into Thursday. We're talking less than a tenth of an inch of rain. Might see some isolated pockets that get up to about to a tenth or two tenths of an inch. Well, a better chance for soaking rain heading toward the weekend. On the roads heading toward your New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, tomorrow and Thursday morning, I see some patchy fog potential to start the day. That's when you have to be cautious, really, on the roads. Friday evening into your Saturday, that's when I see some steadier rain coming back in. And then Sunday, maybe even some snow showers. So here's future cast for that late week into the weekend time frame. There's Friday at 8 a.m. A couple of stray sprinkles perhaps during the day. As we get closer to midnight, we see some showers pushing in and then become steady and widespread into your Saturday. Saturday night into Sunday, we'll get some colder air that moves in, and that's what's going to translate into a few light snow showers during the day Sunday and along with some colder temperatures. So there's that five-day trend for you. We climb back into the 50s for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, but with those snow showers Sunday, you're high only to the mid-30s. After Sunday, we will still be cold Monday with sunshine and then chilly, but more sunshine and back to the low 40s on Tuesday. Thanks, McCall. The American Red Cross says it's looking for donors amid what it called historically low blood 